Hey, Steelers fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to our Pittsburgh Steelers video here today as I'm going to jump into some draft prospects in the first round that I think make a lot of sense for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, we'll dive into all five of those players here in just one second. First, let's take a big season outlook here and really an overall look at the Steelers offseason to get you, you know, fully, I would say, engulfed in what the Steelers are looking at doing in terms of draft, free agency, and the like. So first off, as we talked about uh, pre previously, the Steelers have $32 million in cap space. So a lot of the draft needs that they have right now aren't going to be there when we get to April, right? Because they will sign somebody for offensive line or sign somebody for defensive line or maybe a quarterback. Like, who knows? So the needs can change. But still, with Big Ben retiring, quarterback is a massive need. Offensive line is a massive need. Defensive line is a massive need. Cornerback, safety. I mean, the Steelers, even though they made the playoffs behind Big Ben in his final year, have a lot of needs to go ahead and fill. And so what you do with every good team, you kind of tag team it, right? Some of the needs are filled in free agency. Some are filled in the draft. But your first overall draft pick, number 20 overall, as we'll see, is... Uh, extremely important. And really, it all hinges on what the Steelers are going to do at quarterback, right? Because if they draft, if they, if they say they trade for a quarterback or they sign a quarterback in free agency, then you're not going to spend the number 20 overall draft pick, obviously, on a quarterback. And so Kenny Pickett and Matt Corral, those names are kind of thrown out the window and you focus in on maybe offensive line or defensive line at number 20 overall. But as we'll see, I'm going to throw a quarterback into my list of five here because I do think that is probably what they're going to do. I don't know. It's tough, right? It's like, can they get Aaron Rodgers? Can they get Russell Wilson? Can they get Jimmy Garoppolo? I don't know. Do they love Marcus Mariota or Jameis Winston in free agency? Eh, I don't. Do you go for the young quarterback to, you know, grow and build in the next Big Ben? These are all questions that are going to be answered coming up in the draft. But, of course, I think this first-round draft pick is will give you five players they could spend it on. All hinges on what they do at quarterback. What do you guys think? Will the Steelers draft a quarterback in 2022? I think they will. Type Y down below for yes. I think they will not. Go ahead and type N down below for no. All right, so speaking of quarterbacks, let's start with number five on my list here as we go in no particular order for first-round draft pick options, Kenny Pickett. Now, obviously, if they're going to draft a quarterback in the first round, my opinion is there's one worthy of it, and that is Kenny Pickett. Now, obviously, there are still some, uh, you know, guys who are in on Matt Corral, and I like Matt Corral. I think Matt Corral will probably be a first-round draft pick, but it's very clear that Pickett is the best quarterback overall in this draft. Now, it depends on what they want to do, of course, in free agency and with trades. You know, is Mason Rudolph going to be the guy? Do they re-sign Dwayne Cashman's? I don't know, but if I had to draft a quarterback, I would go ahead and take Kenny Pickett. The one issue we have is, is I don't think Pickett will be there at number 20, so the Steelers currently stand in the first round. So you probably have to have to trade up, give a first round draft pick, and you know, uh, next year's second round draft pick can go from 20 to 12, 20 to 13. That's kind of right around where we think Pickett's going to go. And so they'll have to move out of 20, but if we got to give a quarterback prospect, which I figured I would do here on the video, Pickett definitely makes uh, my list of five. Um, add break, pin comment here, name a player you want the Steelers to go ahead and draft. I'll give you four more players on my list, but I want one, someone that you think the Steelers should draft down below right now in the comments section. Next player on my list, one who gets very little love, I, I, I would say, nationally. Like, there's not a lot of people writing about this guy, but he's fantastic. DeMarvin Leal, the defensive tackle uh, out of Texas A&M. Leal is incredible, and he's kind of like an Eric Armstead or DeForest Buckner of the National Football League who is a D-tackle but can play both inside and outside. He's not going to be a, you know, every down, you know, right there lining up over the center in a 3-4 defense or a 4-3 defense. He can definitely play all around the offensive or defensive line, but he also is fantastic at run stopping, and he's very, very good at uh, rushing the passer. I mean, this is a guy who's played a lot in the SEC and provides exactly what the Steelers need, and that is some help stopping the run. I mean, literally, as we've talked about in a previous video, what was it, yesterday, the day before, when we did free agent targets, they've got to get somebody to help really make this team decent against the run because they were terrible they were like bottom three in the league last year against the run you don't have to be number one against the run just be decent against the run overall and I definitely think that uh, Leo would help them go ahead and do that he'd probably be there at number 20 so we got to take into account here with my top five prospects because yeah we want Kayvon Thibodeau or Aiden Hutchinson but they're not going to be there so these are logical prospects that would actually be available potentially at number 20 overall Okay, Big Ben has retired, but you still want to pick up your Big Ben gear because at Heinz Field, you wear Big Ben stuff. It's going to be relevant for many years to come. There are some great deals on some Big Ben gear and memorabilia that will not last. You see it on your screen right now. The link you need, catsports.com forward slash Big Ben, right? Easy. Jerseys, you're going to get t-shirts as well, even some memorabilia. The link will be down below me in the description box. Pick up your Big Ben memor uh, um, memorabilia gear right now at chatsports.com forward slash Big Ben because, you know, you, you, you get someone's jersey and then they get traded, right? Big Ben is going to be a Steeler, you're obviously retired as a Steeler. It's a Steeler for life. You'll go to the Hall of Fame as a Steeler. Get the gear right now. 
All right, next player on our list, I wanted to educate you on an offensive lineman you haven't heard a lot about, and that is Trevor Penning out of Northern Iowa. Now, you hear a lot about offensive linemen. You hear a lot about, you know, Evan Neal, and you hear a lot about Charlie Cross, and you're like, okay, but they're not going to be there at number 20. How about someone that probably will, who many people consider might be better than Evan Neal? Like, Evan Neal will go in the first round, or will be the first round draft, probably the top O lineman in the draft, excuse me, just because he's from Alabama. Now, he's great, and I would love him, but he won't be there at number 20. Penning's going to slide a little bit, but many people still consider him to be an absolute monster of an offensive lineman and so when we talk about prospects in the, you know, the teens and the early 20s you got to throw an offensive tackle because tackle is definitely a need for the Steelers as we've seen all year long like what's going to happen at left tackle this year in the offseason what's going to happen at right tackle this year they're going to upgrade at some point and they could do it in the first round with a guy like Penning out of Northern Iowa we talked about a quarterback, a defensive lineman, and an offensive lineman. What's the bigger need, offensive line or defensive line? Let me know down below right now in the comment section. Type O down below for offensive line or type D down below for defensive line. All right, we got to throw in a linebacker here because I absolutely love this linebacker. Next on my list here, Devin Lloyd, the linebacker out of Utah. The Steelers, should they spend a first-round traffic on a linebacker? I don't know, right? I mean, Devin Bush has not been it, and we know that very, very clearly. And so maybe you want to go ahead and draft his replacement. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to wait a little bit longer and hope that Bush eventually turns out to be good. But if you want a really good player in this draft, I mean, Devin Lloyd is fantastic. He is everything that you think or that you see right now with the 49ers and Fred Warner, just cheaper because he's obviously going to be a rookie, whereas Fred Warner obviously has a new contract. So I love Lloyd. He's fantastic, and he will be there right around the 12 to 21 range. And so if he were to fall and you go for best player available, go ahead and throw Devin Lloyd up on that list. All right, final player here, and probably one of my favorite picks that the Steelers could do, honestly. And again, we went in no particular order, but maybe the best for last. Tyler, Tyler Linderbaum, the Iowa uh, a center He's so good, man. He's so, so good. And I'm, the Steelers have centers. You know, you have a, a green sitting there. They have other options. They could be fine not drafting a center. But you're looking at potentially uh, a, a, a Hall of Famer. There's like... There's, there's a couple players in, in this draft you go, is that a Hall of Famer? Is that a future Pro Bowler? Linderbaum was one of them, and he is just everything you want in a center. He's athletic. He's strong. He has great legs. He has great hands. He's fantastic at the offensive line in terms of, you know, calling out blitzes and helping out a young quarterback, which is important maybe for the Steelers if they were to get picket. You never know. Linderbaum might not be there at 20, but he'll be pretty darn close. I would love, love, love the Steelers to go ahead and pick him up. He goes ahead and rounds out my list here of five. So we'll run back through it quickly here. Pickett, if you want a quarterback, obviously he's the best. DeMarvin Leal, defensive tackle, need help stopping the run. T uh, Trevor Penning, a lesser known but still great offensive lineman, uh, or offensive tackle, I should say. Devin Lloyd to replace Devin Bush. Uh, and then, of course, Tyler Linderbaum, one of my favorites, of course, the center out of Iowa. Um, is there a player on my list you want the Steelers to go ahead and draft? One of these five? Is there anybody? Did I miss somebody? Obviously, I probably did because there are a lot of great draft picks. But give me one that you would absolutely love the Steelers to go ahead and draft down below right now in the comments section. For me... I'm going to go with Penning or Linderbaum because I like the offensive line, but give me your pick down below right now. All right, ultimately for today on our Pittsburgh Steelers draft picks, top five players you go ahead and take in the first round. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. Myself and Megan, plenty more videos coming up later on this week as we continue to cover your Steelers every single week here at Chat Sports. Again, follow me on Twitter, at Real Thomas Mont, as well as we plenty of great content on Twitter, or at least I do on my official Twitter account. Give me a follow, at Real Thomas Mont. Ultimately for today, for our Steelers video about the draft here, I'm Thomas Mont signing off for the rest of your day.